What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda. These days, you got to think about self-defense. And if you're looking for a non-lethal option, hey, you can check this out. You might be able to see it right there. It says Fast Strike. This is a Fast Strike Tactical Self-Defense Whip. And I saw it actually on YouTube and I thought I would check it out because there weren't really any videos that really took a very close look at it. So I ordered one. They're not that expensive. It's like $27. There are actually some things like this that are actually considerably more expensive. And so uh, this one's been around and it seems like a lot of people have had it. Now, I just got it, got shipped uh, via the post office and it's one of those things where you know if you don't want to carry around lethal um you know self-defense weaponry maybe things aren't legal in your areas a lot of tasers usually aren't the batons usually aren't those types of things but whether you go jogging walking at night uh maybe you're just worried about uh, an assault or a sexual assault or something like that you know uh even in my own neighborhood here there was a few weeks back a report of a guy that attacked a girl and then um Kind of pushed her into the ditch and i think she survived but it, it was a bad situation anyway listen so i thought something like this might be nice to have around and it's not that big now i want to show you this is a whip and it's meant to like hit people and you can see this cable here is pretty thin it's like a quarter inch it's not like a really big thick steel cable uh i'm not sure it kind of reminds me of like the cables that you might use to tie down like um a ham radio antenna to the ground or something like that but you can see it's pretty stiff and uh, it's coated like in this rubber sleeve and then at the tip we have a little bit of like a, a metal sleeve around it so you get just a little bit of extra mass and then it kind of protects that tip so you can see here i can tap this thing but you can see how inflexible it is it doesn't really whip around but obviously it will uh, deform and snap kind of like a golf club or something like that to give you extra velocity. I mean, just snapping it back and forth like that, that would hurt. I will demonstrate it a little bit later. And then we have this like clear sleeve, I think to give it some thickness so that it fits inside the handle here. You can actually separate these two pieces. You can see here we have like a polyester lined uh, receiving screw on the back that's held in place with this um, uh, the six-sided uh, recess piece there. So you can actually unscrew this with a Phillips head screwdriver, pull these apart, uh, reset this if you need to. And then there's some glue, I think, on it that kind of holds it in place or some sticky stuff. You have like a knife handle. It's kind of like a standard, you know, pocket knife. It's it's a fairly cheap, it's very light plastic here, but it's, it feels good in the hand. You can see it has some finger grooves right there. Now, one of the things that's interesting is you have actually a pretty nice uh, clip here so you can put it in your pocket or uh, I've even seen in their demonstration that you would like clip this to a belt loop and run this along your belt uh, and and be held in place by your belt loops but you could also clip it to like a backpack strap or a waistband or something like that now one of the things that was funny about this is I thought um, that won't that get in the way won't it hurt my hand if I'm grabbing it but it doesn't and especially if you're right-handed kind of falls into the hand right there just fine. If you're left-handed and your fingers are on it, it's actually kind of uncomfortable. It's not like unusable by any means, but for the right handy, this is actually really comfortable. I kind of don't even feel the clip, which is kind of, is amazing to me. Maybe it's the shape. Maybe it's really just really well thought out, but it's pretty light. Now I do want to show you here on the bottom, there's a little hole. And what they show is the way to carry this thing is to kind of bend it all the way back. This is how stiff this cable is. It's actually not that easy to get it in that hole. There we go. And it's just the spring tension that this cable provides that keeps it in that hole. I thought there might be little rollers or kind of conical shape to kind of uh, snug it in, but it's not. It's really just the uh, pressure of this cable that wants to spring out that just kind of holds it in place and you can pull it out. Now, the way I pulled it out there is not the recommended way. And I was kind of playing around with it thinking, well, is the way that they recommend deploying this quickly the right way? And it does work and it keeps you from snapping yourself. So I'm gonna put this in here. And what they recommend is holding it like this or like this, I guess, and then, um, or I guess below the cable and then using like the other hand to force this out. So I'll quick do it, boom, just like that. And now when this thing snaps out, it doesn't hit you per se, right? And so if I'm carrying this around and someone comes up and you wanna protect yourself, throw that out there, you're ready to rock and wham, wham, wham. Now, um, I'm not gonna demonstrate this on like fruit or anything like that, particularly, because there are some of those demos out there, but I will just tell you like tapping like this, I wouldn't say hurts. But what I did do is I just kind of gave it a little whack and that hurts, that hurts. I don't wanna give myself a bruise marks on my arm, but I can definitely see if you really give something a good, a good snap with this thing, 
that is gonna hurt. So I'm actually impressed with this. I think this is a better self-defense tool than I probably thought it would be right out of the gate. Um, it's not the best thing, you know, it's a close quarters. You have to be in close proximity if someone has a knife or a bat or something like that. Um, you know, the odds I don't, don't even think are even. This isn't a standoff tool, but as something that you can kind of wrap up, you can put in your purse, pocket, backpack, shoulder strap, whatever, and have it with you. And I think in that regard, uh, it's better than nothing and could be very effective, especially if it's just someone that's unarmed, but maybe dangerous and stronger and uh, kind of disproportionately advantage to you. So if you want to pick this up, like I said, it was like 27 bucks and I think about $5 shipping. So all in, I was probably about $32 on it. It does come with a pink candle if that is your flavor, but, uh, Decent little thing. I wouldn't mind making sure that I have this on a hiking trail or just when I'm out, you know, especially when, you know, other options just might not be available or allowed. Check it out. I'll put a link to the description. Peter Von Panda, out.